Thank you very much. Mr. Schirtevan, one minute. Thank you very much, President. European citizens are suffering from the fact that states are being robbed of their tax revenues by crooked bankers, but European citizens are suffering just as much from the fact that politicians are apparently standing by inactively. This time around, it involves about 55 billion euros stolen from the public coffers in 11 European states through fraudulent deals. That money is no longer available, therefore, for nurseries, schools, research and development and social services for the public. I call that stealing from society. What is also scandalous in the recent Comex scandal is that Germany's federal government knew about these processes from 2002, but only informed its partners as late as 2015. Just watching on as bankers steal taxes for years while simultaneously pushing through a rock-hard savings and austerity policy in Europe is a very dialectical approach to its European partners. I think we need to ban these criminal and immoral deals once and for all. Let's stop tax-driven uh, businesses and protect uh, public um, budgets uh, against uh, those stealing uh, from the citizens. Mr Niedermeyer, one minute, please. Thank you, uh, Mr Chair. The tax system we are now using is maybe well suited for the middle of last century. Since that, the world has changed its 